Yes, greetings family, this is Bomani Taimba and we're live on Revolutionary Camp. Family, I'm at the Prom Prom community. And across uh, from Prom Prom is right there, New Ningo, where we just came from. But family, we're outside of uh, Accra, in the great Accra region. And, and Tema is right here, the main city. But Prom Prom is an incredible, wonderful community. And we have our incredible sister Erna here from Detroit. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> is this where you're staying? Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Greetings, my sister. How are you? Thank you. Fine. Oh, welcome. You. welcome. 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 Oh, welcome. Welcome. We're ready for the grand tour. Okay. Come on in. Come on in. I love how you've got it protected. <laughs> yes. If you don't bother me, they won't bother you. I came over earlier today. So yes, family, we're at Erna's mansion. In prom prom, <laughs> she says it's not a mansion; uh, it's a humble home. What's well, nice to have all of you here? Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Being so gracious. Thank you. My pleasure. Let me see if I can find my key holders. Oh, no keyless entry. No. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so what's the name of this little bit of town we in? Uh, this is still Pram Pram. It's, it's still Pram Pram. Pram. Okay. Yeah, it's Pram Pram. And what you know that, like I said, when I first got this land here, nothing was out here. Not even the beach? Not the beach was. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tell you all something that I don't usually tell people. Please come up a little bit closer. Uh, come on in, please. <laughs> Bring the group. Oh, he's afraid of the dogs. Oh, no, the dogs won't bother you. It's okay. The dogs won't bother you. Yeah, when they're afraid of dogs, that's not going to help at all. It's not going to be convicted. Hey, look. It's not going to be convicted. So when I first came, when I first came out here, um, I don't know if I want you to video. Well, you're sorry. You can come with the disappointment. When I first came out here. Don't tell them what you don't want to share. So they brought me out here um, since, ever since 1981, my first trip to Africa. I wanted to live in Africa, even before then. Uh, I got introduced to Africa when I must have been eight years old in Arkansas, when a guy from Tanzania came to my little three-room schoolhouse in Arkansas. And he just put something in me that made me want to visit Africa. And so every year after that, every two or three years, something would happen that had to do with Africa uh -huh. until uh, finally, I had the opportunity to come here my first time in 1981. Not here, I went to five countries in 1981. But when I finally came out here, I came here in 2000 and um, because I wanted to go to the Ivory Coast but they were having some civil disturbance, I didn't get a chance to go. So I came here because I really wanted to come back to Africa. I come here and I met this guy at the airport and this sisters, he was tall, black, and fine as he wanted to be. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Now we're getting the real <laughs> <laughs> and I got, Every I saw, time, every time. I, I saw him earlier during the day at the airport. And by the time, at 10 o'clock when the flight was leaving, I got ready to go to my seat and who should be sitting next oh, to me? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We talked all the way from Ghana to New York. Okay. And so I was telling him about my wanting to move to Africa, and he said, "Well, why don't you come? Why don't you buy some land in Ghana?" And I jokingly said, "If you find me some by the ocean, I will." Mm -hmm. And three months later, he said, "I found you your land by the ocean." That was in March, and in April, Detroit was going on our, our spring break. I hurried and bought my ticket in town. And when I got here, they brought me out here to the land, and like I said, nothing was out here but just a lot of bush. And um, I looked at it, and uh, my heart just did something really weird. And I went over to the ocean, because then you could just walk right over there. Mm -hmm. And I went over there, and uh, I don't like telling this, because sometimes people may think I'm a little bit crazy. It's OK. Uh -huh. I went over there to the ocean by myself. I said, let me walk over here by myself. And honest to goodness, when I got over there to the ocean, just right out here, you know, how many of you know the song, uh, the OJ Ship Ahoy? Oh, girl, that's my song. Goodness I was just standing there looking, and I could just hear the words. As far as our eyes can see, women, baby, children, coming to the land of liberty. Uh, yeah. And it went on to talk yeah. about ship ahoy, ship ahoy, ship ahoy, ship ahoy. Ship ahoy, ship ahoy. Oh, oh, oh. 
I could see those ships out there on the ocean. And I started praying, and I'm not a religious person, but I started praying and thanking the Creator for bringing me back here. And as I was praying, I don't know, some words just started flowing out of my mouth. Some strange words just flowing. Uh, my mother said, oh, you got over there and started speaking in tongues. <laughs> Yes, I told my mother that what happened to me, and um, and truly, it was really a very um, spiritual, yes, enlightening yes. experience. And uh, and ever since then, I've just felt like I was at home. I have truly felt like I, I was at home. And even though uh, from my DNA, my father's side is Cameroonian, my brother David 100% Cameroonian, yeah, yeah, yeah. my mother Nubian, Egypt, modern day Saudi Arabia, but this feels like it's at home though. Because you know why? Because we as people of African, of the dia Africans of the diaspora, yeah. all of Africa is home for us. Yeah. They claim Ghana, Senegal, this place, Say that again. Yes. We can claim the entire continent. That's the good part about it. So when you decide to come, all you have to do is just be prepared. That's so all. Prepare yourselves. Okay. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you of the outside of the property and then we'll take you on inside. That family, it is beautiful and green out here. Our sister is incredible. Look at this, the repat house. So yes, family, that's what it's about, family. Hold your retirement, bring it to Ghana, set your plans for the future, get your land, be a paradise and connect with your folks. And family, this is the back of the house. This is beautiful. And says that is the repad house. 